shall we? Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. Find the walkers. Use them as shields. chance we can't risk leaving cover we'll have to crawl along the side of the dock I'm fine. Stay close. Stay hidden.
We're getting close. After we find the boiler and place the bomb, we'll get our friends out. Minnie said they keep prisoners on the second deck. Look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it? out. I think it's the boiler. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like it. That's where we need to plant the bomb. There's too much stuff in the way. Maybe there's another way in. go, Mitch's masterpiece. We all love and support you. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour, 30 minutes. I guess we'd better move. Focus. Yes, ma'am. I, I, I have a little brother. Short, scarred face. See? He's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. There's no way we can get in there without her seeing us. Get out. Not without our people. I swear to God, if you got Ten caught up in this, just, just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. He told me to tell you. He forgives you. <sighs> Shit. I'll help you get everyone out. Then you take my brother, and run. Get him back to where it's safe. Come on, we have to hurry. Please, everyone's okay, especially if I... Clementine? Holy fuck! 
Oh my god. Are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I... Uh, yeah. I'm alright. We're alright. Get Violet first. She needs to know you're here. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Dorian comes back. Please. Louis, give me a hand. Yeah, sure. Violet. Violet. Vi, what happened? Are you okay? Violet, talk to me. We're here to take you home. I looked for you. When they grabbed me, I saw you let them take me. I'm just supposed to forget that because you're here now? Some fucking feelings you had for me. Louis wouldn't have stood a chance against these guys. I knew you could fight back. <laughs> yeah, sure. What's wrong with you, Vi? Come on, let's get the hell out of here. No, Clem. I'm done. This whole situation is so fucked. At least here I have Minnie. You mean the Minnie that betrayed us? Don't act like you know her. She tried to escape. Her and Sophie. They said if I fight back, they'd kill Minnie. Or one of you. All you've done is get us hurt or killed if you fuck this up worse. I'll stop you myself. And don't think I won't. I'm not losing her again or anyone else. Come on! They're just trying to scare you. I'm afraid too, but we can't let them get into our heads. I'm not afraid. I'm realistic. Whatever you do, leave me out of it. Violet, come on. Fuck off. We're not staying here that long. Clem, are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! Thank God. Is Vi all right? She's saying she won't help us. What the shit? Are you serious? Ugh. We're not moving yet, so at least we've got some time. I guess. Louis, are you all right? <laughs> Me? Yeah, I'm fine. Just trying to figure out the best way to survive an explosion. You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm looking for a way out. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. How you holding up? Lily. She scares the shit out of me, Clem. Earlier, she came down to talk? Fuck. I don't think I've ever been that afraid. She's not messing around. We'll be home soon. Just hang in there. Hey, Omar, you are you hurt? hurt? Let's just get out of here, okay? We will. I found your rabbit's foot back on the beach. Clearly it doesn't work. Like 
there's a gap here. <sighs> Too small to fit my hand through. chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it. They must have taken away my knife. AJ! Do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. Whatever you doing, don't. I promise you, it ain't worth it. Step back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Good. I'll take it from here. Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Fuck. You little monster. Damn it! We showed him mercy. He was terrified of turning, so we stopped him from having to. We gave him what he wanted. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Back up. Minerva, open the door. Yes, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organized these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential. Look, if I'm the one you want, let the others go. This isn't a negotiation. This is me telling you how things are going to be. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations, to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. Good. I can see you're paying attention. My father had his faults, but he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson?
I want to tell you a story. Let's call it the Parable of the Twins. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind, and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs, and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They needed help fighting, or they'd lose everything they built. Their crops, their power, even their lives. Putting guns in their hands and forcing them to fight? How generous! They were just doing what they needed to survive. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. Just but the other twin, now. she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. Shit, what could you? What the fuck? Is that true? Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one? Or the dead one? You! You brainwashed her! You people are fucking sick! Y'all better back away from the door! All right, Lily. You made your point. I'll do what you want. No, don't say that, Clem! Look what they did to Minnie! Just don't hurt anyone else. Good. I'm surprised to hear you bend so easily. But as I said before, this isn't a negotiation. Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. No, 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 no. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Stop! Don't hurt Lewis, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo. You better cool it, or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck, 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 fuck! Easy! Stay still. No, 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 please! Come! Don't make this hurt more than it has to. Come on. Just breathe. Enough. He bit me. I said that's enough. You deserve to die. We'll kill you. You think you can kill me? I know I can. We'll throw you in the river. I will put a knife right to the side of your head. Big talk for a little guy. <sighs> I know I can do it. I killed Marlin. He wasn't a monster, but you are. Dang. So you killed Marlin. Huh. I bet you'd make a great soldier. Lily, please, don't hurt AJ. I'll do whatever you want. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Come on, let's go have a chat. Just us. Don't you fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, 
Oh, please! Clementine! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get this thing moving. I want to be far away from here. Fast. I'll start up the boiler. Don't. Don't you dare look at me like that. This is the only way we survive. Are you serious right now? After everything that she's done, you're just gonna help her? Fuck you! Minerva! Fuck off! What the hell happened to you? You killed Sophie! What the fuck? You just decided, hey, I'll work for these people. They seem friendly enough. You don't act like you understand you what happened. You're gonna get us all killed. You weren't there. <laughs> fuck you! <coughs> what the hell are you doing? <coughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. Violet, we have to go. No! We planted a bomb on the boat. Fuck you, there's a bomb. Mitch is dead. You just... just fucking go. We have to get the hell out of here now! Go! I need to find AJ. I... I, I can... Uh... I'll be fine. Better see you on land. You will. Focus that energy. Sharpen it. I've known Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. You'll come around too, once you see what we Found have. Found one more sneak in Plenty of the food, docks. comfortable beds for you and Clem. Tin! Fuck. Tennessee, did you get lost? Ma'am! He wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. This way. Found this in a hurry. James. No wonder there were so many walkers. Must have thought you were clever leaving those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say? You don't fucking scare me. Is that so? Force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. Kill it. No! What the fuck? Easy there, Ten. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Please. Shooter! Why don't we all just take a breath, all right? Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or, or else. Fine. Go ahead, then. Do it. Save your friends. 
that's what you came here to do, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I see. You came here to cry. Tim. <laughs> Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please, don't! No! the gun, AJ. Okay. No. Oh, no. What? James! Oh, <gasps> Nine percent of players mercy killed Abel. Forty nine percent of players respected Jane's beliefs and killed no walkers. I am a poor pilgrim of sorrow. Cast out sixty one percent of players named the bomb Mitch Masterpiece. Uncertain of life. Eighty six percent of players allowed AJ to attack Dory and stop you from cutting off your friend's finger. My home. Forty seven percent percent of players refused to Sometimes tell AJ to come over I here. Am and driven. You had 89 percent of players Sometimes to kill I know not, not where time. to roam. Minerva was stunned when you told her Marlon killed Burley. Birdie. Minerva considered herself irredeemable despite your assertion that she didn't come home. Minerva felt heartsick after learning Ten forgave her. Abel felt assured when you promised him mercy. I Ellie was surprised by your offer to cooperate. To Ellie felt smug when you stopped AJ from shooting a her. Few more hard battles Ellie was embarrassed when you didn't want to hear why you were no sent to oh, really? her. Ellie was in danger when you let AJ stop Dorian from cutting off his finger. Each night. Violet blew off your reasons for not saving her. Violet despises you Sometimes after capture. Ted was grateful when you stood Sometimes up for him against Willie. Ted was grateful when you promised to tell him that everybody forgave her. I heard of AJ felt conflicted after you killed Abel, sparing him from turning. I'm AJ just felt defeated when you said there was no way to prove you could be together as walkers. 
AJ felt helpless when you spared Lily, only to have her kill James. James was thankful I that you respected his beliefs and spared the walkers. James felt elated when you said there might be more no to walkers. Rosie's worried about everyone. Lily is excited that you wanted to name the walkers. Was proud you did not recognize her to official troubles and trials um, and confined. Take me in, in heaven. All right. That's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it like I did, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.